At the turn of 1 Kings chapter 9, King Solomon is reported as having successfully accomplished all that he has set his heart to build, completing the king's house and, more importantly, completing God's own temple. This chapter also notes down for us another significant milestone in Solomon's life. We read that the Lord speaks to Solomon for the second time, assuring him that he has indeed heard his prayers. God confirms with Solomon that so long as he and his descendants keep to God's ways, that he will make sure that the throne on Israel will be established forever. On the flip side of things, however, God strongly warns Solomon that if he or his descendants fail to keep God's ways, that God must discipline and judge the nation of Israel. To God's sorrow, Solomon's prayer and heart did not match his actions. Halfway through the chapter, we read that Solomon placed the nation's priorities above God's will. Solomon increased the number of chariots available to Israel, strengthening the country's military strength and providing more jobs to his fellow countrymen. Solomon also, instead of destroying the Canaanites that God had instructed in times past to be destroyed, were instead subjugated to forced labor. There's nothing wrong in looking out for the security, protection, and welfare of one's own country, but it's when we place other things above God's direction and instruction for our lives that we are found to be in the wrong. Later chapters reveal to us that because Solomon continued to marry foreign women, that his heart turned further and further away from God, greatly displeasing the Lord. The sin of solely following our hearts can seem so innocent and harmless in the beginning, but let's heed what is said about it in Hebrews chapter 3, verse 13, which says, But exhort one another every day, as long as it is called today, that none of you may be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. Bottom line is this, deviation from God's will can result in less and less devotion. So, because God is faithful to his word, regardless of if we are on board with it or not, let's be encouraged to cut away sin and to stay away from it.